Hey everyone, James Park here, pastor of Engage Ministries at Wilmot Center Church. Welcome to another devotional for this week's week of prayer uh, with the theme of being together. Now, I'm going to be talking about proclaiming together. Let's start with this passage. And every day in the temple and from house to house, they continue to teach and proclaim this message, Jesus is the Messiah. That is from Acts chapter 5, verse 42. Now, the word proclaim means to announce publicly. To proclaim means to declare officially. So when the Toronto Raptors won the NBA championships in 2019, Facebook feeds and Instagram posts were filled with proclamations of victory. Canadian fans from all across this country cheered with passion and excitement at the news of the Raptors winning, and they heralded Kawhi Leonard as their most valuable prayer. And this news spread far and wide all over the country. It was good news for Canadian basketball fans. Now, if you think about it, we cannot underestimate the power of news. It has the ability to shape perspectives. News has the ability to alter our worldview and even change our lives. Now, in one of his sermons, Pastor John Piper made a statement regarding the Christian faith. It was a powerful statement and it stuck with me and it was this. He said that Christianity is the only religion in the world that is created by and sustained by news. The good news of Jesus Christ, the good news of the kingdom of God, the good news of salvation was all pointing to an event that happened by which everything is now different. Christianity is about something happening and now there is news to tell about it. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That is good news. This is what the early church called the euangelion, or the gospel. The good news that God sent his Son on a rescue mission to redeem broken humanity. And through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Sin and death have been defeated, and the promise of eternal life in the kingdom of God is now available through Christ. That is good news. It's better than the news of a sports team winning a trophy or a viral outbreak being completely eradicated, although those things would be good news as well. The good news of the kingdom of God affects every person on the planet. And our mandate as followers of Jesus is to proclaim this news together to the lost and broken world. Now, Jesus' last words to the church was all about this, to proclaim this message together. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20, Jesus said, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And so that was in Matthew 28. And Jesus said this in Mark 16 verse 15, Go into all the world and preach, proclaim the gospel to all creation. Now, it all starts with you and I proclaiming to those around us who need to hear the gospel, the good news. Now, here are some action points for us. Number one, think of the people in your life who need to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Write their names down, either in your journal or a notebook, and commit to pray for them daily for God to soften their hearts so that they would have ears to hear the good news. And number two, ask the Lord for an opportunity to share the good news of Jesus Christ with these people in your sphere of influence. Now, we want to invite you to share any prayer requests or insights that you might have from today's devotional on Wilmot Center Church Community Facebook page and share some 
prayer requests or some praise reports, and let's proclaim the message of Jesus Christ together.